Happy birthday, Meg. Hope you have an awesome day. So here's a picture of Meg giving me a fake haircut at our grandparents in Worcester, my uh, father's parents. Uh, glad to see a picture of Meg and I getting along well when we were younger. Wasn't always the case. Uh, we did ha have our share of clashes, mostly because I was the middle child and Meg was the, uh, the baby of the family. But uh, I'm glad to say that now as, quote, adults, Meg and I get along really, really well, and she's one of my best friends. If there's one thing Meg and I share the most, it's probably our sense of humor. This is a magnet Meg got me. I believe it was for uh, Christmas a couple years ago. Uh, definitely in reference to my Crohn's disease, but uh, what can I say? <laughs> it cracked her up when she saw it. She got it from me, and it cracks me up every time I look at it. <laughs> Here's me and Meg saying hello at a Halloween party at my old apartment in Waltham. Uh, I'm dressed as the Punisher. Meg is Queen Elizabeth. Uh, I'm not sure if that's one or two. You can ask Meg about that. Uh, uh, the funny thing is, if you look closely, you can see my friend Carl in the background uh, dressed as a woman. There's something I can always count on Meg for. It's hilarious cards, like this Halloween card she sent me. <laughs> Here's a Christmas card Meg sent me one year, which is very indicative of where we both stand politically and on social issues, which is much like our sense of humor. Meg and I see eye to eye on a lot of um, things politically and um, social issues and have many conversations about um, how we could fix the world if we were in charge. Here's a picture of me and Meg in New York. Meg moved to New York City uh, over four years ago and although uh, I had difficulty finding anything good about New York in the past, now it's uh, one of my favorite places to visit and a lot of that has to do with because Meg lives there. This is a program from a play Meg was in five years ago. If there's one thing I admire about Meg the most, and there are many things I admire about her, it's her acting ability. It's amazing. And I've seen her in many, many things. And as you can tell, I save the programs to some of these things. Um, I tried acting my senior year at BC and I was horrible. I was pretty good at the improv stuff, but the straight out acting stuff, I, I was horrible. Um, and Meg was born to act. That's, uh, that's one thing I know, and she does it very, very well. And every time I see her, I'm even more amazed, no matter what the production, no matter um, where the production, um, Meg is awesome when I see her act. and. I, I, I'm speechless when I see her act. I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I tell her awesome job, but uh, <laughs> doesn't really cut it. Um, and speaking of Meg and acting, I, um, I found some, uh, some clips of uh, a couple of Christmas mornings where Meg, she's not, she's not acting at all, but uh, I believe it was probably the... Uh, the beginnings of her acting career on Christmas morning, getting very excited. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy, and Meg, I hope it doesn't embarrass you too much. And I love you, and I hope you have a great birthday, Meg.